So it looks like the NYPD arrested Stuart Soldowitz. Looks like he was charged with a hate crime, as I said he should have been, but I never thought it would happen. If you don't know who Stuart Soldowitz is, he's a former Obama State Department official, formerly employed with Gotham Government Relations. That's a lobbying group, and they apparently do a lot for Israel and the Israel bloc. In fact, their press release uh, came out in the Israeli flag colors. They say that Stewart hasn't had anything to do with them in years, but it looks like they appointed him last year. So I don't know how that looks. But in any event, Stewart uh, made fame or infamy for harassing not once or twice, but on multiple occasions, a halal cart operator on the Upper East Side calling him a jihadist and a terrorist and saying that he's going to put signs all over his business and, you know, um, saying really bad things about the Holy Quran and horrible things about the Prophet Muhammad, horrible things about the Palestinians and uh, Egyptian secret police and how he could get the halal cart operator's parents, get their fingernails torn off by these operatives and also saying that the deaths of 4,000 Palestinian children weren't enough. Now, Gotham government relations were quick to act. They didn't actually offer an apology or anything, but they said that the guy doesn't work with them anymore. And they reposted a bunch of posts that really just, you know, completely condemned this guy, you know. So they were good at the reposts. Did they donate any money to anyone? No, they didn't do anything like that. Did they make any formal apologies? Not really. Did they, you know, make a video? I mean, because they're all lawyers, you know, they're all well-to-do lawyers. I mean, what would it take for them to make a video? But they didn't do that either. But they did put out a little press release, which was like a picture with the colors of the Israeli flag, which, you know, some people might say is a little insensitive given that the guy who used to work for them, said that the deaths of 4,000 Palestinian children wasn't enough. But they're a lobbying firm, so they know all about PR. You know what I mean? It's, it's all about PR. You know what I mean? And, 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 you know, you put out a post like that, then that's good. Because, again, I mean, in a few days, people are going to forget about this. You know, who knows if Stuart Seldowitz will ever work for Gotham again. I mean, Gotham, I mean, that's, you know, people want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. But I don't know. I give it a month. In a month's time, another PR, not, not them, but another PR organization will probably scrub the web. Right now, we probably see about 100 hits for Stuart Seldowitz. In a month, maybe we'll see 10. In six months, maybe we'll see five. In a year, we might see two. CNN didn't report on it. Very interesting. Fox didn't report on it. It seems like all the newspapers reported on it, and the mainstream, like ABC, NBC, you know, some called it a hateful rant. Some said allegedly, I don't know how allegedly it was. I mean, it's pretty obvious what he did. But uh, kudos to the government of New York, uh, really New York City, I should say, but also the New York Attorney General. A lot of people opined. And uh, as a result of the, you know, backlash, as a result of this thing going viral, this guy got charged with like, I don't know, like five or six or seven different charges. Now, in all likelihood... He's probably not going to see a day of prison. The way they escorted him out, you'd have thought he was like the head of state or something. I mean, they were like, you know, opening the door for him, making sure he was comfortable. You know, they were holding him real close. You know what I mean? You had these nicely dressed detectives and they got into this nice sedan. You don't do that for like some guy you arrest in the subway, some guy you arrest, you know, loitering around Central Park. But this guy, he got treated very, very nicely. You know, very nicely. I mean, you got to treat a bigot a really nice kind of way. I mean, especially a bigot that used to work at Gotham Government Relations. Now, why do I keep mentioning Gotham Government Relations? Because I don't think that Stuart Seldowitz just woke up one day or actually woke up like several different days because he's wearing several different types of clothing and just decided, hey, let me just go pick on this random halal cart food operator on the Upper East Side or West Side, wherever. I'm pretty sure that people that are bigots like this guy is a bigot were probably bigots for a long time. Maybe even bigots while they worked at the government. Certainly, certainly a year ago. I mean, this guy was probably a bigot his whole life. So if he was a bigot his whole life. It stands to reason he was probably a bigot last year. And we know that uh, over there in Israel, some of these settlers, not all of them, of course not all of them. I mean, they're not all trying to burn out the Palestinians out of their homes and build homes on illegally recognized land. But, you know, a lot of the settlers, you know, that you see on these videos that carjack Palestinians, that, you know, humiliate the women, that, you know, you know, have guns and, and, and sort of just terrorize just innocent people, children even, 
you know, just because they're trying to run them out. Some some of them set fires because once the little olive trees, you know, they burn down and, you know, there's nothing there. Then they come in. Then the IDF gives them some security. You have to give them security because they're Israeli citizens. You know, you would think a Palestinian born in Israel would be an Israeli citizen, but not quite because that would mean that it would be like, you know, any other country in the world, not an apartheid state. But the reality of the matter is, is that a lot of these settlers live right here in the United States. And a lot of these settlers have lobbying organizations. I'm not saying that Gotham government relations would ever lobby for settlers, but you never know. I mean, you just never know. So the reality of the matter is, Stuart Seldowitz was probably a bigot his whole life. And I would imagine that if he was a bigot his whole life, he was probably a bigot up until last year when he got appointed to be the director of, I don't know, what was it, like Israeli-Palestinian relations? Or, I don't know what he was the director of, but you're going to hire someone like that I mean, I don't know. He was probably, you know, very subtle about it. You know, like he was with the Halal Cart operator, you know, three different times, you know. And even knowing he was recorded, he still talked to him like that. But I'm sure that his employers had no idea that Stuart Seldowitz was a racist. Who knows? But like I said in one of my tweets to them, I said, listen, folks, don't worry about sending me a cease and desist letter. I'm an attorney. I work in downtown Louisville. Got a beautiful office on the 18th floor. If you want me to shut up, you go ahead and file suit. Save the paper. Save the stamp. Don't bother sending me a cease and desist. Because honestly, I'm just expressing an opinion. But if you think it's slander, if you think it's defamation, you all sue me. You know how to do that, right? But in any event, I just got to say, Stuart Seldowitz, you're a piece of trash. You're probably not going to do any time. From the looks of how the NYPD treated you, you're probably getting caviar and champagne brought to you by the captain of the police department. Because the reality of the matter is, if you'd have been some common criminal or or if we'd have flipped the script and it would have been a Muslim doing that to a, I don't know, a, a menorah salesperson or something. I don't know like what the equivalent of a halal food cart would be. I don't know that there's a lot of kosher carts around New York. But if there was, it would not look like that. The perp walk wouldn't have looked like that. And it wouldn't have been a nice sedan either. So the reality of the matter is, is that this guy's being treated like a white collar criminal, you know? And, uh, you know, I don't think it would have been the same. I'm actually, I'm shocked that he got charged with a hate crime. I'm shocked. It was a hate crime, 100%. When he even said that he innocently spoke to the hall card operator. Come on. Yeah, innocently in my butt. And Iraq had WMDs, you know what I mean? But the other thing too is even while he does the perp walk, the guy's smiling. The guy's smiling because he knows nothing is going to happen to him. He might even get his job back. 